AITA for telling my ILS they shouldn't blame me when they ignored my friendly warnings? My ILS moved back in June. They had been planning this move for several months and had their house up on the market before they told my husband 24 minutes and me, 23 Fahrenheit. They had mentioned the name of a small town they liked and were considering their number one choice of location. I know the place well because it's my hometown, and I fled right as I was turning 17 and never went back there. There are zero happy memories of my hometown for me. I was raised in one of those families, the ones that are the talk of everyone in town for all the wrong reasons. I'm the only member of my family, dad, mom, brother, who did not go to prison or get in trouble with the law. But people still hated me because of who my family was. Growing up there was hell, and the one friend I had back then got a lot of shit for being friends with me. Teachers treated her like shit, she was thrown under the bus alongside me many times. Even her family gave her crap for being friends with me. When all three family members were arrested together, I decided I just needed to run away and get far from there or I'd live in literal hell until I turned 18. And I knew it would happen. My ILS always knew I came from a family that got in trouble with the law a lot. They also knew I had a bad reputation where I came from as a result. They didn't know my hometown until that came up when they mentioned their move and I gave them a friendly heads up, warning that living there and making their association to me known would not be a great idea, that they would likely be treated poorly as a result. My husband suggested there were so many other places they could look at, but his parents had their hearts set. My husband and I worried for his much younger siblings who were all still in school. I knew most, if not all, my past teachers would still be there, but I had hoped they wouldn't be too open about me. They moved in June. By August, they had mentioned me to some people or some people had seen photos of me and my husband in their home. And when my siblings-in-law started school, it wasn't great. They found it hard to make friends. One bill was denied a place on the football team. Parents don't want their kids associating with them. They also notice neighbors are less friendly. They don't get the same chit-chat they liked when they first moved. And they heard a lot of hate about my family. The kids especially. And now my ILS by this I mean my husband's parents are mad at me and they acted like I didn't warn them. I reminded them that I did give them a friendly warning and they couldn't say I didn't so they shouldn't blame me. My husband had my back on that and told them the same. They told me I shouldn't be saying any I told you so's when my husband's siblings are negatively impacted. The funny sad part is my husband's siblings aren't mad. It just made them sad for me. Hey, Ada? NTA you explicitly told them this would likely happen. Yep, and I did it because I really do care about my ILS and the kids especially. They were always so sweet and kind to me and loved me so easily. I wish I could protect them from this. Agree, NTA op. You gave them fair warning. I'm guessing they thought you exaggerated how awful people can be. I sometimes get rose-colored lenses with people I love because I can't believe anyone could be so cruel to such wonderful people. I know, how incredibly naive of me. Still, if someone I cared about was treated this horribly by an entire town, I could never. Anyway, I don't know how small towns work as I have never lived and would never live in one. It seems to me if they really want to make nice, maybe they might have to put a little more elbow grease into it. If small town movies shows are to be believed, ha! Again, NTA op, but it sounds like the majority of the town are. Glad you were able to get away. NTA. You can't help the circumstances here. It's very unfortunate, though. People are the worst. They should give you a chance, especially being the only one to have never been arrested, by the way. Why are so many people marrying so young? I feel like I didn't know my ass from my elbow at 23 compared to now, and I'm only four years older. For sure they can. Some are wonderful. But I found there are certain mindsets that set in when you're from a smaller town. Reputation can do way more harm, and people are less likely to give you a fair shot if you're from one of those bad egg families. In my case, doing pretty well in school until my junior year, my grades went to shit then, didn't do me any good. Can't speak for everyone, but I think I had to grow up in some ways a lot younger, and in order to get through everything, I had to be an adult before some others. So when I fell in love with my husband and we had lived together through COVID, we knew we wanted to be married to each other. We didn't do anything huge, though, just us, his family, and some friends. NTA OP. But I can so relate to small towns that don't let the rest of the family be separate individuals. My parents divorced in the early 70s, when no-fault divorce came into being. That was the start, not many were divorced back then. My older brothers stayed with my dad, while five others of us went with my mom, my older brothers. Well, they had pothead reputations, not without reason. On my first day at the high school, my geography teacher pushed me up against a locker and told me I better never, ever come to his class high, or he'd see that I was kicked out of school. Gee, that was memorable. It was with some mixed feelings that I had when I heard that he got a HS senior pregnant and he and his wife divorced. Small towns. SMDH. 
Small towns can be the absolute worst places to live. I would never move to one again. I won't even visit my ILS because going back there is not a good thing. I'm sorry you have a first-hand account of how bad it can be. Yeah, when someone says they married young, I immediately jump to your family of origin was problematic, weren't they? Your life experience and maturity from being on your own since you were 17 or 18 is very different than a 23-year-old who was supported by their family. Especially if they either went to college or lived with their parents until they were 22. In a lot of ways, I was on my own a lot younger. My parents weren't great parents and never supported me, and my brother wasn't so great himself either. I would say I was raising myself by the time I was eight or nine. The rest of my family were too busy being angry at me for not helping or in their own business to do much raising me. It wasn't a very good childhood. But yeah, I feel like there's something to be said for experiences like mine, leading to reaching certain adult milestones earlier than others.